My last question for you. Yes. So, um, Super Surf Star yes. marries Super Rock Star, your husband Kirk from NXS. Yes. Uh, he is not a surfer, he doesn't like the sun very much, uh, and he probably isn't too flash on a surfboard, I'm no. guessing. He can stand up paddleboard. Okay, good, yeah. he can do the paddleboarding, well, great. I'm yeah. sure that you've been working on progress with that for a while. <laughs> so, you know, obviously you, you're, you've, got, you've had different interests and passions, you know, your, your life stories were, were different, but you've come together, you have a great marriage. We do, From Except what I, lost from what I know from the outside. What? I lost my wedding ring okay. surfing. <laughs> You lost it surfing. Yeah. <laughs> well, that, apart from that, my husband lost his wedding ring on our honeymoon <gasps> um, snorkeling. So, oh, okay. love and jewels. It's, yeah. it's fine. The ring, it's just an love does and jewel, yes. <laughs> <laughs> How do you make it work? Well, you find commonalities, and you you do have to compromise and make sacrifices yep. for each other. And uh, you know, it started out of obligation. Because John Stevens set us up, who was the original front man of Noise Works and then became the front man of In Excess. And yeah. he just saw these two worlds colliding. He thought, you and Kirk to get together. would be perfect for each other. <laughs> and honestly, both of us went, why? Seriously. <laughs> honestly, Kirk is nocturnal. I'm daytonal. Doesn't like the sun. I obviously love the sun. Uh, everything about us is complete opposite. How on earth can you see this working? And he said, because you've both lived lives of success, you've both, you've both been at the top of your game, you've been at the top of the world, you know what it takes, so you have a mutual understanding yeah. of admiration. So you've got a foundation of admiration and understanding, see what can happen from there. Yeah. So I took Kirk on a date, and that was primarily out of obligation again, I promised John that I'd take Kirk on a date. You're people pleasing, is that what I'm hearing? Uh, only John, <laughs> only because I, you see, I'm a woman of my word, if I make a promise, I have yeah. to deliver on that. So I delivered on it, and it was a disaster. We had, there was no chemistry, no connection. <laughs> There was oh, nothing. I thought you were going to tell me the opposite. No, it was a complete, <laughs> complete disaster. Now, the only thing that kept us together was Lemoncello. Okay. The owner of the restaurant sat down. I'd gone to the bathroom Look looking for, for commonalities. Looking that for was where you started. We started with Lemoncello. Because that night we realised he's a white wine drinker, I'm a red wine drinker, so we had to find rosé to keep us together, and which we now have cases of. But Lemoncello is what kept us together, and so much so that we toasted Lemoncello at our wedding. Right. And now cool. that Kirk woke up this morning and he said, I've been thinking about what kind of ceremony we're going to do with your next ring because I want to leave it out in rainwater under a full moon to cleanse it, and then I want us to do a ceremony, and of course we're going to have to toast with cherim uh, Lemoncello. <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah, he's a thinker. Yeah. He's a very sensitive, gorgeous soul, and I'm really grateful that John saw beyond that because yeah. most people go, how does a rock star and a surf yeah. star get together? Yeah. And quite honestly, I remember when we're, we're t I was touring through LA with the band when they reignited their whole career with JD Fortune with the Rockstar in Excess show. Yeah. And um, we got to our hotel room at one o'clock in the morning waiting for our bags to come up to our room. We're sitting in bed just watching Wife Swap of all programs <laughs> in America, which I'm sure you're familiar with, right? <laughs> Most yeah. one of the most bizarre programs. Yeah. Anything to keep us away. Yeah. And she, at the end of the program, she comes back to her husband, who she's missed terribly after the dysfunctional experience she's had with the complete opposite of her husband. And she goes, "You know, the reason my husband and I get along so well is we have so much in common." And I looked at Kirk and went, "What on earth is going to keep us together? Yeah. What do we have in common?" And he just went, "Rosé." Yeah. <laughs> but you so, know, you know, I will say I met Kirk a couple of years ago, yeah. and he's a very real guy. He is he's very a very real. sincere guy. He is. He's not an egotistical guy. Well, if, if either of us allow our egos to get out of hand, then we're good at bringing each other into check. And I think most of all, getting back to your point earlier, it's commitment. Yes. At the end of the day, like focus. What, what, what is it I really, really want? Yes. And when we're really committed to yes. something and making it work, yeah. we make it work. Yeah. I refer to people like Kirk also as my honesty barometer. Yeah. He keeps me in check. He keeps me focused. You know. so I almost fell down the stairs the other day and then I stood up and he picked me up. He's like, you're okay? I'm like, yeah. He goes, be present. <laughs> I'm like, okay, thank you. I needed that, yeah. obviously. So it all comes down to that a level of respect and, and appreciation yeah. and gratitude well, and love, of course, that you have for each other. Well, time. absolutely. And that, I guess that goes without saying, but absolutely. Yeah. Um, at the end of the day, what a gift to, to, yeah. to share your life with someone who you enjoy hanging out with yes. and you've got that just trust and love. Yes. So. I'm very grateful for Kirk in my life, absolutely. Yeah, I get that. And I was a massive fan of, of, of NXS. Did yeah. you enjoy the show? Did you see the show? 
No. Oh, okay. You have to watch it. I do. It's a DVD. <laughs> Channel 7 did this whole program. I, I know. Two-part series. It was fantastic. Okay. I, I meant to. I keep. I don't get to it watch actually, much TV. It actually almost gave me the opportunity because Kirk won't let me play in excess when he's home. He gets very, he's very self-effacing. He gets very oh. embarrassed. Yeah, so I actually made him display his memorabilia, all these gold and platinum records. I made him put them around in our yeah, trophy room. Yeah, so absolutely. You should celebrate Celebrate that. your success. Yeah. yeah. So well, anyway, I'm like very proud of him. You're good for him too. I am good for him. Yeah. yeah. He says I've saved his life. Wow. He's That's so great. What a lovely place for him to come from too. Absolutely. So. Yeah. Well, Lane, thank you so much. Thank you, I really appreciate, You're welcome. you know, you um, just sitting here with me, giving giving your time to help me do something that I'm passionate about too. So. Well, I share your passion, so I'm more than happy to help you there. And All thank right. you for having me. Take care. You too.